This video is less on the technical side of mixing and mastering and more on the creative side, where I literally make a kick drum sample by punching myself in recording it. And spoiler alert, it kind of works, which is ridiculous. But I wanted to take you through this process to hopefully inspire you to get a little bit outside of the box when it comes to music production and seeing what you can come up with to make your song sound a little bit unique. You don't always have to buy the latest and greatest drum samples or sample loops. You can more often than not make them yourself if you're just a little bit creative. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that in this video. Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Bobby Balo, and I'm the mixing and mastering engineer at Raytown Productions. This channel is dedicated to helping you make better sounding music in your home studio. I'm gonna take you into a session now where I punch myself and record the sound effect and then use that as a kick drum sample. Now the sample I'm giving away totally for free so you can use it in your music any way you want. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do some Punching. I don't want to punch through my uh, a button. All right. I'm literally gonna use the same microphone. All right, let's get it. Oh That sucked punching myself and I didn't even hit record. All right, let's try that again. Oh Does not feel great. I'll tell you that much let's Try this this right side here. I'm I was meaty. I do not recommend this is ridiculous That one sounded pretty pretty good. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, let's check out some of these hits and see if any of them sound remotely like a kick drum. These two sounded pretty good, surprisingly. Let's tighten it up a little bit. So we'll just export these as drum samples. Key here is to use the zero crossing feature. And we want to get as close to the start of that initial transient as possible. Okay. That's a good spot. Crossfade there. Check out this one. That looks pretty good to me. And if we wanted to, we could like EQ this and do all sorts of weird stuff. So let's do, we can do a little bit of EQ. Just clean it up. We need, this is gonna be metal, right? So we wanna cut out some of these mids. Add a little bit of snap. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Put the level at minus one, just why not? <laughs> All right, let's render these down as individual files. So in Cubase, you just go to render selection. We're gonna wanna do the separate events so that we get two different files. And we're gonna use a custom name, rates on productions, chest, kick. And then we'll just save it. We definitely want the channel settings. Okay, 24 bit, so let's do it. Well, here's what it looks like. This is, again, absolutely insane. Gotta get the lab coat back on. You guys will stop trusting me if I don't wear it. So some people might not know, but Steven Slate has a free drum trigger instrument editor. Uh, you can just download it from their website. So we're gonna be making files out of my chest punching. That's great. Okay, you just remove the articulation and we're gonna add one articulation. We're gonna have basically Two round robins, that just means two different samples of the same velocity. So I punched myself in the chest the same volume twice. So those are our two samples. If I would have kept punching myself, we could maybe set more round robin samples so it would sound more natural. Um, you can also hit yourself less hard or softer, I think is the other word and you can add in different velocity layers. So it can sound like you're hitting a kick drum softer or harder. I didn't feel like beating myself up that much, so I'm just going to leave it as two samples. And honestly, I'm just gonna do one for this example. It probably will sound better as a one shot. I don't feel like punching myself anymore. So here's what it sounds like. It literally sounds kind of like a kick drum. Can't believe that. 
and uh, I'm going to set the anti-machine gun setting to like a kick direct uh, algorithm, whatever that means. At this point, we save the TCI file, and we're basically good to go. We can just load it up in Trigger. So let's go to a session and do that. All right, so let's hear this in this track. I Let's just substitute our kick. Okay, right now I'm using Bogren Digital's uh, drum samples in this song, but let's try it with Bobby's chest kick. Right on Productions, and here is our chest kick. <laughs> so it's high pitched, right? Let's tune it down, see if we can make it a little bit more metal. Uh, let me bypass, let me mute all these. Tune it down. I'm gonna need to mix this a little bit differently. Just gonna cut a little bit more of those mids around 300 out. What else we got? Let's boost a little bit more of the sub. This is a really tight sounding kick drum. Let's try compressing it. All right, cool. Has a nice little sound to it. Let's see what it sounds like in the drum mix. Here we go. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it actually sounds like a kick drum. Let's take a little bit of that snap off the top. Actually, I, I kind of like it with that. It makes it sound like a beater. All right, let's listen to it in the full mix. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me, uh, let me just adjust this a little bit more. It doesn't sound bad. It's got a nice like snap to it and honestly it might sound okay if you layer it with samples. So let's try to do that. Let's add a, maybe a, a little bit more like thump back into it using Bogren. So if we put the tuning back to zero and then let me fade this up with uh, the samples I had there previously. It might have a nice top end clarity to it, or maybe like a little bit more like low mid punch to it that maybe will make the kick cut a little bit harder. So let's see what it sounds like if we blend this sample of me punching my chest in with the, the samples I'm using. It kind of sounds cool. Let's check the phase. I think the phase is probably pretty good. I kind of dig it as a sample on top of other samples to help make the kick cut more in a mix. Let's listen to it in context of the song. No sample. Let's fade up the sample now. Yeah, so listen to how it adds a little bit of like this mid-range punch to it. Here we go. It's it's like the the attack on the beater, but that's the attack on my fist on my chest. But a little bit of that sample goes a long way. Wow, that's that's cool. I actually might use that sample if I'm having trouble with a kick not cutting in a mix. So that was a fun experiment. I did not expect it to actually sound usable. And this might be something I might keep in my back pocket when I need a kick drum, you know, to cut through a mix a little bit more. And if you want this sample in this TCI file, I have a link to download it in the description. So go and grab your free copy of that, put it in a mix, 
Let me know what you think because I think it's kind of ridiculous, but it might be your secret weapon to making a kick sound really aggressive. And if you do that, be sure to come back and leave me a comment and let me know how it turned out. Or if you've done something similar where you've made your own samples or sound effects by doing crazy stuff, let me know in the comments also because I'd love to hear some of your music where you've incorporated that into it. This is a way of making music really, really fun and unique to you as a producer or an artist. So I encourage you to try stuff like this, bring a microphone around, hit random things in the studio, and see what kind of sound effects you can add and incorporate into your songs that give it a little bit of unique flair. If you thought this video was fun, enjoyable, insightful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and then share it with your friends on social media platforms like Facebook or Reddit. It'd be really fun to get more people involved in this experiment, see what kind of sounds others come up with. And before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I drop new videos weekly that's gonna help you level up the quality of your music. With that, I wanna thank you so, so much for your time and attention. My name is Bobby Balo, and I hope to see you in another video.